point from from mouse boards there of you know to play a boring kind of style of counter strike that's very much what nabi used to do right and it was boring in some sense but you still have to figure it out even if it's boring um whatever wins rounds yeah definitely and i think uh at this point you know, we've got fnatic opening things up with an early advantage with uh, some aggression in mid really like this you know peeling off the players before they get to those bomb sites and jahini he would have defended against Storm. But yeah, Fnatic is allowing Heroic a potential in into this round. It's a two-on-four situation. Bomb goes down now on this A bomb site. Tess is trying to take some long distance duels with that Glock. Both in CT spawn here now. I think Fnatic both have vision on both of them, so that should be a relatively easy round than it is. Fnatic, first pistol round on the board here. Did we do any uh, predictions? What did, did we talk anything about Mirage? What are we, what are we thinking? Uh, I don't think we did. Um, the fights here, we can look to win with this SMG. They should double swing it, so the trade should come in at the very, very least, and it's better than that. They actually get a freebie. Admittedly, one man is low, and there he is finished off by Golden, but there's still more where that came from. Golden, back of the site, trying to buy time for his teammates to rotate round. He does have support in the market, but he's dropped on the entry by Nico. This man in the, uh, in the market being Crims, on the rotator round from eight. A little bit late to, to help Golden out too much. Now waiting for Brolin over in the apartments to get activated. Yeah, oh. Slavin though is holding that little off angle as, as well. Leaving Crims here in kitchen. He does have the M4. We'll get Nico and he's going for this. Still a possibility. Actually now getting a second on Slavin as well. Now he's low and it's actually a bad plan. So Tessus is forced to peak. Not going to happen though. Oh, and that's Brolon trying to go aggressive here. A ramp goes down. Jaquinho again being aggressive here in the B apartments. Gets the one, gets trade. Keep up both in this series and the next if they get there. Oh, that flash is really nasty. It blinds the players at ramp. Luckily enough, Stown. Oh, sneaky little JW. Is he going to get a knife? That's the question we're all wondering. Instead, he's playing for the round win. No knives today for JW, but he has a long way away on this rotate. So there is a temporary little window of opportunity here for Fnatic to be given this uh, this 1v1 inside of B. Oh. Tessas has dodged it, though. Perfect timing from him to get out the way of that window peak. And JW going in alone offers up that kill, and now it might have to be this. Obviously, one guy got away, and that's when you see the run from JW. The timing from Tessas was unbelievable. Not be expecting that if you JW. Big position from Roland. Always right in there. Able to get just the one before being traded, but maybe that's enough. Maybe that's going to slow down Heroic. So much more that they'll abort, and in fact, that's exactly what happens. They are going to abort. They've got 30 seconds, which means that it's all up to Borup's lurk here in the B apartments. I don't know that Jack Ineo spotted him here, and he did it. Oh, he definitely didn't, but he gets the kill anyway. That's going to tell them absolutely everything if they didn't already figure it out. And this is going to be a tough one. Nico going down as well. Doesn't even get that frag in mid. Now it's just a measly two players remaining for Heroic, trying to take this bomb site with no time to do it. And Katie's just going to have to fall back and save the AWP. All, all off the back of, as you say, Robin, you know, her kind of missed their window. Fnatic, you know, Brolan, he hit, he, he got that one kill that he needed to see as well, especially with KD and spotting a player jumping. Because at this point, you're now thinking, well, if they're jumping for info, there won't be a second player here, right? They're playing this one short setup, one doing the uh, the jump peak. Doesn't matter. This is what I'm on about with having the map control to play oh, reactively. No. And Borum's going to land the flick anyway, so that little setup's dodged. Now they go back into this A site. Crims is the only man here, but he might be the perfect man for the job. There's the first. Oh, Crims through the boxes is in with a double. And now it's just on to Borup all alone. They're on the bomb and one tap is all it takes now down to the 1v1 from Jaquinho here. But without a fight getting given over, he's going to get on the bomb. There's the spray oh. and Borup locks it in. The 1v2. Trying to drop a defensive smoke. Also, I've got the MP9. Able to get some position on the site. He needs a, at least a kill here. That set will be able to deliver a kill. Although, Jahinio will be lost as a result. 
still gonna work that spray. USP out, not ideal. Extra damage to Stown, but unfortunately, oh, they're lacking just the frags at this point. They're one behind. There you go, though. JW is able to trade back, leaving a very desperate position for what otherwise looks like a very good spot here for Heroic. Caden's still alive, though. Down into another 1v. Uh, all a game of timing. Oh, and Brolan. Oh, he's done so much damage. There it is. Finishes it off. Great timing on the peak. Nades thrown at all. Literally just walks through the smoke and they already have full map control. It's a potential retake set up now. As I've mentioned, the whole thing with the Deagles, Borok with a nice 1D onto Brawlon and bombs going down. Oh, the trades as well. Favoring Heroic. Bomb does need to get planted. It got denied just moments ago. So Nico's got to get back on that. Trying to stick it now. There's the swing from Cat that Fnatic were hoping can be used to deny that bomb plant or at least sniper man down in the process. Instead, it's left to Cribs in the clutch. Oh, it's close. Two HP, the difference. Didn't have one of these AWP on AWP fights. And I love it, man, because like everyone, everyone kind of knows where these AWP duels are going to come in. And so all you need, all you need advantage-wise over the AWP is like around the corner to take the fight to CT. And that's another very, very common AWPing angle. Just about offsetting the crosshair, even for an extra half a second, can make all the difference. Is the beat nice that charming face? Does he get one and then get traded? That's the question. This is what he used to predict. Doesn't manage that. Instead, he's dropped out of the rounds. So bomb now getting planted. JW scoped up over here in the market. Robin, you wanted to see this all damn first half, and he gets the tag off with it. But if they want to keep this AWP out, it will just have to be the save for JW. Yeah, it's so unfortunate here for Fnatic. I actually think Jack Andrew does a really good job. He's in B apps again, gets, you know, two kills to his name. That He has a, a defensive position first, obviously. You could argue maybe Brolan is a bit upset. I think Stalin that walks out and gets Brolan on catwalk before Jack Andrew gets the trade. But he pushes into B apps, gets one more. And then it's actually Golden that has the position. Cheeky indeed. And this could really catch... Fnatic off guard here. Oh. Ooh, bar of the time oh. might not be great though. Ooh. Bar must be hearing that and it's just looking like they're getting surrounded at this point and they're going to go down. Unfortunately for Fnatic, they're getting kind of owned on this A side at the moment and JW's trying to find an escape path. It's the great escape for JW. Ooh, and he will not be able to escape. Tessus has absolutely no mercy. Finds the headshots and... I think, you know, Fnatic are a team that can really play a great T side on, on any map. This is uh, starting to become a little bit to JW, but it uh, feels like oh, feels like five rounds is is now. I mean, do we think five rounds will be enough for Fnatic, Jet? Because that's, that's the best case now in this first half. A row for Heroic. And within those four rounds for Fnatic, well, one of them was the pistol, one was the anti eco. You know, in rightful rounds, they've won two in this half so far. So that is a, a pretty dismal kind of situation to find yourself in. Once again, they've got a man down early on. This is a nice response, though, right? The all out aggression over here in middle side. AWP, there is probably nothing. Oh, 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 oh my god, okay. Well, Nico goes down as well, so just leaving Stalin here. One of three situation gets the first, but not gonna happen. It's five to ten A retakes on this map, but this is going to be a B retake instead. Bomb goes down. Five on five situation now. Just one smoke on Tessus. Looking for a, a lot of hit shots here, both of these two teams. Ooh. Oh, it all gets weird when you're getting close up against the Glocks. Heroic, uh, just about outmaneuvering them for the time being. It's left to KD and two in the apartments. Oh, now just one left in the apartments. It's Golden up there. The kit retrieved and the smoke as well. Smoke onto the bomb. Golden in with the peak. Oh, oh, he's going for the knife. Oh, no. Oh, no. Golden. Heroic get the round. Yeah, you're... This is like one of those games. I mean... Props to Fnatic if they manage to come back from this map. Been nothing but an uphill battle for them. And they do buy here though, obviously. They get the bomb down. And normally these rounds are a little bit favored on the T side, but makes it a three on three. Bomb's not down yet, but it's just about to. Good positioning here as well, and a good got bomb plant. But we'll see. Here we go. Flash in. No nades left now. Brolan obviously just pacing himself, waiting. Gets the first onto Nico. He's going for a fake defuse. And yeah. 
Good drowned here from Fnatic. Sure. <laughs> Brawlon dies somewhere. Not quite sure where. It drops in mid or something. But he is over at that catwalk area. Oh! Oh, <laughs> golden. That looks good off. They're going to try the palace aggro. Now they run into Crims. There it is. A second kill leading this even further in favor. It's looking like a save. And they're just kind of saying us down. Yeah, if they come B, we got two here. If they go A, try get as many as you can. And then we'll see if we want to go for it. Getting one and getting out of there. Now, this this is definitely going to tempt heroic. Ooh, maybe even further in with all this damage happening through the smoke. But with that fight not going their way, now I imagine the save call is pretty solidified. They might just have to give this one up. This path and this second half of Heroic has not really yielded too much just yet. Yeah, and, uh, you know, as we talked about as well, we talk about how active they like to be on that CT side, and that's exactly that. We swap some people in mid, we get an expo flash over towards that connector area, and here we go. Just the one flash bang over. Nico in a good spot, but Brolan shoots his head off. Full on Brawl on this bomb site now. And same flick on the entry. Tessus, he's dodging around the smoke and the crates here on the site and he's causing all kinds of problems, buying loads of time for his teammates. And he's just up on the box and another crazy flick. Jokinio this time is the one to deliver it as Kadian is going to be blocked off by that smoke. So even though there didn't really seem like there was much for Fnatic to work off of, now there may just be a chance. Oh, that's a great frag though from Borup. And JWs well and truly locks out of the bomb site. And at this point, with no player to help him out, you oof, don't like his chances. Great shot, though. He might be able to get out of here. Able to escape down the ladder. Now it's on. Now JW has a chance. He's got some position to work with. Looking for a flashbang here. He knows they're closing down in his position. Another great connection. We talked about it. JW, he is going to lift. Aggressive in mid here as well. Trying something new here. Down with an aggressive angle coming in from Kadian, and here's the push from Fnatic. You'd argue that timing actually is on their favor here. Niku goes down again. It's the same angle we saw last round. Brolan gets his head off once more, but are they going to be expecting such a fast flank from Tessus? Tessus has got to be the hero, and he doesn't get anything done from the rap heroic. They, they kind of spent so long hoping that that flank was going to find something. And now they're in, well, two or two on two, thanks to Kadian on this AWP back here in CT Spawn. Are they invested? Are they interested in going for this one? JW's low. Fnatic deciding to double up over in the palace, and it is all left on to JW again. This time, though, the odds stacked against him. Smoke going onto the bomb. Oh, no, now they know where he is. JW, the last, uh, the, yeah, the last one no idea how he got away with it in the clutch this time they don't give him the room and he didn't have the hp either so heroic they do actually recover what's that on an smg oh and heroic again trying with the usual shenanigans it was tessa's last round kadian maybe whips it a little bit ends up dying but here's when the smg comes into play very talk about the economy for CT side, they get the one round, they have to string rounds together. Them losing this one, it's not going to be great. Oh man, just bore up alive here now. It's gonna be 12 to 12. Again, money advantage to Fnatic. And just because they've kept four alive here as well, you argue as well. They get off the bomb. At first, it looked like maybe the idea was to pin the Chiquinho, take the fight, and then they realized the guy in the side just doesn't have that angle. Yeah. And another entry here in favor of Fnatic on this round. JW clears. Man, what a turnaround here from Fnatic. We talked about it. Yeah. It's grab yeah, Counter Strike, board, but that's really where they excel at, right? And uh, 14 to 12. It hasn't really worked for the Danes yet. Yeah, and this is also another round here where we're talking about we have to hit the shots. And if anything, this is a round. And JW here is just up by his, by his lonesome on Cat and Jikinu causing a lot of noise here as well in the apartments. Gets both of them. Man, I'm, I'm super impressed by Jikinu this week. I, I think, you know, it's a lot to ask for as well being new on the team. And these are a lot of big names on the Fnatic roster. Golden also really took to this too. Uh, coming up from Fnatic Academy. Just this ability to be always comfortable in a...
if they yeah, spot normally it in when, time. I was going to say, normally what happens here as well, you tend to just take B ramp control when you have positions like this. This is a really good setup here from Heroic. We'll see if Fnatic clears all these angles. But Acadia misses the shot. That was super important. But Tessis with a, almost a three-man spray down. Golden down to 17 HP. It's a two-on-two -two situation now. Sound very quick on this rotate now. Buy ticket. We have both Heroic members coming from here as well. Borg as well. Leaving JW now. It's been a beta shot and it will. Now they know the terrible truth as to where this orb lies. JW, little to the left. Oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, it's the tag, but not quite the kill. The faster now because my brain's not remembering callouts. That's fine. The boost has tried to capitalize on this smoke and try to play counter to the setup and connector there. Tessus will get away and we know how James is. And finally, Kaden will reveal himself. And this is this is a problem right now because they're gonna regress back into mid test to get the swing off of Cadian's pressure. However, it's not looking good for heroic after all said and done. It's down though, able to win his duel against Crims. He was lurking out towards A. You can always expect it. And all of a sudden Oh that's four three, three maybe. Four three indeed. Roland called it though. He's like, hey, listen. Ten EVPs on the left. <laughs> and Matic have been playing a way slower pace. In his recent round. Oh, that's a bold swing. Stal not ready at all for that one. And that's huge pressure that's going to draw rotation. And JW picks in. Oh, it's going to be rough, though. Tessas has been good at these big heroic moments over towards the A bomb site. We're going to need another out of him. But it's only one presenting itself. So Cadian and Borup, pressure is on. Two versus four, not a retake yet, but that bomb is getting planted. And here it is. They've got to get back into this site somehow, some way. Little bit of utility split between the two of them. This smoke and molly combo could come in real handy. So it's important. Cadian doesn't die. Oh, but there it is. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. And there it is at the end of the game. Jaquini.